Hey you guys, how are you? Happy Wednesday, it's Coach Jessica, and I just wanted to come and check in with you. We are 10 days into the month, which means a third of the month is through after today, and then we still have um, two thirds of the month to go. Um, so for those of you who are making progress, that is awesome. For those of you who are picking up momentum, Believe me, if you're doing the right things, it's happening little by little, and at the end of the month, you're going to be able to see a difference. If you have struggled some here at the beginning, that's okay. You still have two-thirds of the month to go. Don't write it off because you might have had a tough day or two. Start today. Even if you haven't done anything up until this point, print that tracker out today and start using it. It will help you. Um, so I just want to step in and encourage you today on day 10. Um, but I want to talk to you specifically today about something that's been on my mind that I don't think I've talked about in a while. Um, that can, actually keeps coming up. And the subject, I'm going to call it, what I call it is preemptive eating. Um, and it's exactly what you might think it is. Um, preemptive eating is when we eat in case we might be hungry later. Not because we're hungry now, but because we have this thought that we might be hungry later. So we either eat or we overeat. Um, I'll give you some examples. So <clears throat> one of the times that this happens is sometimes before someone will start a fast, they'll say, I'm not going to be eating for however long period of time, so I'm going to eat more right now because I know I'm going to be hungry later. Another example is I've given myself a six hour eating window and um, I'm having my meal and I'm really full but I know my window runs out soon and I won't be able to have anything after that because I've committed to not eating later so I eat more than I need to eat because I might be hungry later. So preemptive eating means I'm not eating for the hunger that I have right now in this moment. I'm eating because of the thought of future hunger. And if you're having tr um, trouble uh, with getting results, um, this could be your issue. You simply might be eating more or more often than you need to because you've got this thought of, I might be hungry later. Don't eat for future hunger or potential future hunger. Eat for now. You know, the thing that drives that is fear. I'm afraid that I'm going to be really, really hungry later, and I don't want to be really, really hungry later, so I'm going to eat now. What's the truth about that? The truth is you might get hungry later, but guess what? Being hungry won't hurt you. Hunger comes in waves. It's not something that hunger hits and then it builds and builds and builds until you pass out. Um, hunger hits, there's a wave, it gets stronger, and then it goes away if you wait it out. I know this because I do extended fasting. It always does that. So it's okay. That fear of being hungry later is not a good reason to eat. Um, so what I want to say about preemptive eating is I don't think that it's a good idea other than in one circumstance that I can think of. If you are going to an event and you are in a place in your journey where you know you are not ready to face the foods that are going to be there. Like let's say, you know, um, you have not conquered um, your uh, compulsion to eat sugar and there's going to be lots of sugary treats at this thing. I would say eat and make sure you don't go into that thing hungry because being hungry and then being faced with something that's potentially um, uh, stronger than what you have built up your ability to overcome, it's better not to go into that thing with physical hunger. So the one exception I would say is if you're going to go to an event and you, and you don't know that there will be food for you to eat or you're going to be facing temptation that you know that at this point in your journey you are not in, in the place where you can overcome that, that might be a point where you would pre-eat but otherwise, I really want you to pay attention and ask yourself that question today. Am I eating a lot now because I'm afraid I'm going to be hungry later? Or am I even eating now and I'm not hungry? Um, another issue with doing that is one of the things we want to do is we want to reestablish 
hormonal balance with those hunger and full reflexes. We have hormones, leptin and ghrelin. One tells us we're hungry, one tells us we're full. You know, if we are just, if we're eating past the point of full, if we're eating for later hunger, we're still squashing the natural production of that hormone. It's not going to act like it's supposed to act. It's not going to um, work if we're ignoring it and we're just eating for other reasons. And, and so anyway, it's just another little layer, another little angle to look at your eating um, and say, am I preemptively eating? Am I eating because I'm worried that I'm going to be hungry later? Am I overeating at 4 o'clock because I know that my eating window ends at 5? Um, and then I'm afraid I might be hungry at 7. You know what? If you're not hungry right now, don't eat right now. Let yourself, it's okay to let yourself feel hungry. It really, you'll, you'll find out nothing bad happens. It might be a little bit annoying. You might have to do something to, um, to distract yourself, but you will find that it goes away and nothing bad happens. So anyway, that's my subject today, preemptive eating. Uh, I don't recommend it. And it is something to definitely look at if you're struggling with your results. If you feel like, oh, I'm doing all the things. I'm eating in the window. Um, I'm not eating things that harm my body. And, and my, I'm really not losing. You might be doing this. So I hope that's helpful. Let me know in comments, of course. And I will talk to you all soon. Don't forget, next two days I'm going to be away. Like, away, away. Uh, much of the time on a bus or so I don't know how much in communication I can be in the next two days but um, I'll check in at some point because I'll be in a hotel and we'll have Wi-Fi there um, but I don't know if it'll be a, a, a video so anyway um, have a good couple days and I'll talk to y'all uh, when I get back